All right, so although these problems may seem long, they're actually pretty short and sweet. The statements just give a lot of background to what we're going over. Um, this one reads, a plane wire loop of irregular shape is situated so that part of it is in a uniform magnetic field B. In the diagram, the field occupies the shaded region and points perpendicular to the plane of the loop. The loop carries a current I. Show that the net magnetic force on the loop is F equal I B W, where W is the cord subtended, um, and generalize this result to the case where the magnetic region itself is an irregular shape. What is the direction of the force? All right, so let's look at it. We see we have a rectangular region, a magnetic region with the uh, magnetic field, some irregular shape with a length W going into it, and current I. All right, so our solution, the magnetic field, the magnitude of the force is given from the integral e expression, um, F equal I integral DL cross B, but B would be a constant, so we would just take it out. Um, and we're left with uh, the integral of DL, which is just W at that specific point. So then W cross B is all we need to worry about. Um, again, B is constant in this case, and therefore it moves outside the integral. The line integral yields the vector displacement from the point at which the wire first enters the field to the point where it leaves. No surprise there. And since W is perpendicular to B, we know that we just have the magnitudes to worry about, F equal I B W. And F perp and the force is perpendicular to W, clearly because it's a cross product.